Tesla Terra Factory. That's the name of Elon Musk's new manufacturing facility in Austin, Texas. Rumor has it, it will be 28 times more powerful than the largest gigafactory located in Nevada. Why did Musk decide to build it? What are the costs of this large-scale project? And most importantly, what will be manufactured here within these walls? Let's take a look at this new factory. But before we start, subscribe to our channel. Over the last few years, Tesla has implemented several ambitious plans for electric vehicles. 2021 alone was incredibly eventful for the company. At the center of attention was the Tesla Cybertruck, which you are seeing on the screen right now. An electric pickup or a light-duty truck, it doesn't matter what you want to call it. The main thing is, it's the favorite Tesla model of Musk himself. He presented it to the public in November 2019 as a prototype and promised that the vehicle should go into mass production by the end of 2021. The three models of the pickup truck differ in the number of motors, the top speed, 110 to 130 miles per hour, and the cruising range of 250 to 500 miles. The base price of the rear-wheel drive model is $39,000. Musk also tweeted about Tesla's highly anticipated electric yacht. And of course, the production of the world-renowned electric cars hasn't stopped either. To fulfill the manufacturing requirements, especially with regard to the company's batteries, Tesla needs a new factory, which will surpass the performance of the current gigafactories. After introducing this Cybertruck, Elon Musk hinted at the fact it would be nice to have built a large object with terawatt-hour capacity, which would allow mass production of these trucks. This laid the foundation for creating a new enterprise, the fourth Tesla facility in the United States. Musk already has factories in California, Nevada, and New York. Additionally, one of Tesla's factories is located near Shanghai, and another one is being built just southeast of Berlin. Easier said than done, now they had to find a site for the new assembly factories in the central part of the USA. The process took a few months because several states practically competed for the honor to be the new factory's location. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, they even erected a golden statue of Elon Musk. But in the end, the state of Texas won. There was no golden statue in Austin, but the state met all of Musk's main criteria as closely as possible. His criteria included the absence of issues with labor and logistics, as well as the ability to offer the best employee benefit package in regards to tax and other things. The project was approved by the government, and Musk even managed to get a $50 million tax reduction by the state authorities. In exchange, he promised to create about 5,000 jobs over the course of four years. The average salary will be $47,147. Evidently, Tesla is looking into a variety of job profiles, ranging from entry-level jobs with a starting salary of $35,000 to more specialized positions with higher pay. The new Tesla Terra factory spans across 2,100 acres of land in Del Valley near Austin, Texas, east of Austin Bergstrom International Airport. Construction work commenced on 19th of January 2021 with the pouring of the foundation using three gigapress die-casting machines. 
The first components of GigaPress arrived on site in crates and cargo containers. On 27th of January 2021, the base frame of the first GigaPress was unboxed and moved into position. Tesla estimates the construction costs at only $1 billion. Hard to believe, isn't it? However, that pans out. Tesla leaves no stone unturned to meet the expectations pertaining to the new factory. Here, they will manufacture their batteries, Tesla Cybertrucks, Tesla Semi, Model Y yachts, and Model 3 electric cars. However, it's worth noting that the main focus will be on the production of lithium-ion batteries. Rumor has it that there is a plan to introduce Tesla's secret technology, called Roadrunner, to produce its own battery cells in-house. To lower the costs by $100 per kilowatt hour, the factory will have a common assembly line for assembling components arriving from all over the world. In the future, the company plans to build a lithium hydroxide chemical plant to support production at Terra Factory. Terra Factory will take up an area of 5 million square feet. Musk says it will be something bigger than just a factory. After all, it will have a space for the public, a paradise for nature lovers, with streams, walking paths, and bike lanes. But the company's main goal when designing Terra Factory is to ensure it is 100% eco-friendly. Parts of the factory complex will be powered by solar energy. Investment management firm Arc Invest predicts that Tesla Terra Factories will also solve issues with management bandwidth and vehicle painting constraints. This will eliminate production bottlenecks, especially if the company releases their electric cars looking similar to Cybertruck, which isn't painted and is therefore perfectly suited for outdoor activities. That's all for today. Leave your comments below, give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do it now. Meanwhile, we are already working on a new video for you.